JBL Legend CP100. JBL is a well-known brand for audio products, whether it's home, car or portable products. The company produces aftermarket speakers, sound processors and amplifiers for cars, but never attempted to take over your dashboard, until now. The new JBL Legend CP100, announced at CES 2016, is the company's first doubled-in radio aimed at luring car owners into adding Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities to their cars. Harman's demo hall at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, during CES 2016, had the JBL Legend CP100 on display in a demo box. I was able to get some hands-on time with the unit running Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functions. The CP100 sports a 6.75-inch capacitive touchscreen, like a smartphone, for $399, when its competitors typically employ resistive touchscreens, like old Palm Pilots and Windows CE devices, unless you spend twice as much for a higher-end unit. Screen resolution is only 800 by 480 which doesn't sound exciting in a tech world of 4K everything, but resolution on a screen that small is adequate from the driver's seat. Visually, the JBL CP100 looks very plain, but that's okay. It's a standard double-den radio, which most Japanese cars since the 80s and European or American cars from the late 90s can accommodate. The plain black plastic design makes it easy to blend in with most dashboards capable of accepting a double-den radio. The user interface for the CP100 is very simple, it's a black background with a row of buttons for five functions, phone, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, FM, AM radio and settings. JBL designed the CP100 purely for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity, so the plain user interface is understandable.